It's my pleasure to extend a cheerful welcome to you all. Your views makes us very happy. Today, we are going to read The Random House Book of Nursery Stories, The Three Little Pigs, retold and illustrated by Helen Craig. Please like and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to click on bell icon for new video updates. The Three Little Pigs There were once three little pigs, and each little pig wanted to build himself a house. The first little pig collected some bundles of straw. These will make a fine house, he said. When he had finished, his straw house did look fine, and he moved in. He had just made himself a nice cup of tea when he heard the voice of the big bad wolf outside. Little pig, little pig, can I come in? Called the wolf in his sweetest voice. No, you cannot, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, cried the little pig. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down, growled the wolf. Just you try, said the little pig, thinking he was good and safe in his fine straw house. So, the wolf huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the little straw house down. <coughs> oh, help, help, cried the little pig, and he ran all the way back to his mother. You got it all wrong, said the second pig to his brother. I shall build my house of brushwood, and you can come and live with me. So the second pig collected a great heap of brushwood. This will make me a fine house, he said. When he had finished, his brushwood house did look fine, and he moved in. He was just settling down to a large slice of apple tart when he heard the big bad wolf outside. Little pig, little pig, can I come in? Called the wolf in his sweetest voice. No, you cannot, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, said the second little pig. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down, growled the wolf. Just you try, said the little pig, thinking his brushwood house was strong and safe. So, the wolf huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the little brushwood house down. Help, help, cried the second little pig, and he ran right back to his mother. The third little pig didn't say anything, but he had been watching all the time, and he had a plan. He went to the brickyard and bought a big load of bricks and some bags of cement, strong windows, and an even stronger door. And then he built his house with a fireplace and a fine chimney. The wolf watched from his hiding place and waited. At last, when the little pig had finished his house, he invited his two brothers in to celebrate. Bring mother's big cooking pot, he said, and don't forget the lid. The little pigs filled the cooking pot with the water and set it on the fire to boil. Then they sat down to enjoy the plum cake their mother had sent them. Just then, they heard the big bad wolf outside. Little pigs, little pigs, can I come in? Called the wolf in his sweetest voice. No, you cannot, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, said the third little pig. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. Growled the wolf, just you try, said the third little pig calmly. The wolf huffed, and he puffed. <coughs> but try as he might, he could not blow the little brick house down. So he tried the door, but it was strong and firmly bolted, and the windows were locked too. Then he remembered the chimney. Aha, I'll get all three of them yet, he hissed. The three little pigs 
heard the wolf scrambling up onto the roof, but the third little pig was not worried. He got the fire blazing well, so that the water in the pot began to bubble, just as the wolf started to climb down the chimney. Come and get us, called the third little pig. I will, I will, just you wait, growled the wolf, but he was in such a hurry, he missed his footing and fell headlong down to the chimney and into the cooking pot. The third little pig slapped on the lid, and that was the end of the big bad wolf. What a mess, said the third little pig to his brothers. Come on, let's clean up, and then we can have tea. So they did and from then on, the three little pigs all lived safely together in the little brick house. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click on bell icon to get new video updates.